Hey guys, so to get started with this creepy witch, I've got my base of foundation and powder on just in my usual shade, but you could always take this a bit more pale if you want to. And now I'm taking a taupe shade to contour along my cheekbones and I'm gonna blend that down toward the corners of my mouth, but I'm also gonna hollow it out a little bit more. So I'm going to blend it kind of in toward the nose as well as down to the mouth. I'm also blending this up onto the temples a bit. And then I'm going in with a darker taupey gray shade and just adding that over top of our previous shade, focusing it toward the back of those cheek contours and then blending it forward. I'm then taking that lighter taupe shade and applying it to the crease and also blending it into the nose contours and down the sides of the nose. I'm also taking that shade underneath the eyes along the lower lash line, then blending it into the bags around the eyes to accentuate them a little bit. For this look, I was just kind of making it up as I went, so I wasn't quite sure what I was doing, but I wanted to put these shadows down so I had a base for whatever I ended up putting on top. Now I'm going in with Jeffree Star's Red Rum Liquid Lipstick and I'm taking a tiny, tiny bit of that on a small dual fiber brush and I'm just going to stipple that lightly along the lower lash line. And then I decided to start smudging that out just using my finger. We want sort of an irritated, splotchy look so this doesn't need to be even or symmetrical. You can see that I'm smudging and stippling and also kind of pulling down the product just to make it uneven. Now I'm adding an orange eyeshadow over that to kind of get rid of that pinky tone. Now I'm gonna go in with a tan shade that's a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone on that same brush and I'm gonna start stippling that underneath the eye, kind of up on to the cheekbones and the temples and also down onto the cheeks. Then I'm gonna do that same thing using a muted plum shade. Doing this is going to help add to that splotchiness that we started creating earlier. And then I'm gonna go in with a dark brown shade and apply that to the outer and inner corners on the lower lash line, blending it in, but not taking it all the way across the lash line. And then I'm also going to use this shade to add more of that splotchy texture. I'm using a smaller eyeshadow blending brush for this, so it has a little bit of a different look. Then I'm taking that same brown onto the top lid, starting at the outer corners, blending into the crease. And then I'm going to start smudging that up and out, kind of as if we were going to create a wing shape to our eyeshadow, only super messy. Then I'm also just kind of lightly blending that onto the mobile lid. Then I'm taking a red water activated body paint on a torn up textured sponge and I've dipped that sponge into water and then picked up a little bit of the body paint and I'm lightly stippling that over the areas that we added that splotchy texture to. I'm using a very light hand for this and then I'm also going to use my finger and just stipple over if I want to kind of tone it down a little bit. Then for my brows, I didn't want them to have full on color but I also didn't want to totally block them out so I'm just taking my foundation on a spoolie to brush that through the brows to give it sort of a bleached look and then I'm taking my translucent powder over top of that to help set it in place. Now that I've done that, I can take that red and stipple it up on to the brow area. Again, this doesn't need to be super even or symmetrical. Then I'm gonna use that same sponge to stipple on a little bit of my foundation shade just to kind of break up the color. Again, I'm using my finger to stipple and blend it out a little bit to tone it down. Then for the tears, I'm using the red water activated body paint, picking up a little bit of product and mixing it into some water to shear it down. I'm just going to test it out on the back of my hand to see if I wanna add more paint or more water. And I'm also gonna try and add in a little bit of brown and black to make it darker. I ended up adding quite a bit of paint to the water. So these first tears aren't really that transparent, but I do go back in later with some more water to shear it down so that I have a few that are. You can tilt your head to kind of control the direction of the drips. And then you can see that I'm holding a towel underneath my chin so that I don't make any unnecessary mess. I am bringing this pretty close up to the lash line, but not so close that it gets into my eyes because I've done that before and it's not that fun. Then if you want or need to stop one of your drips from going any further, just touch your brush to the end of that drip and it will soak up that water and stop the drip. Then I'm using the red body paint on that textured sponge and stippling it underneath the eye to kind of blend those tears in a little bit. Then I added more water to my red body paint and added a few more transparent tears. 
And you can really see here when I'm doing these that I tap the end of that tear to stop it from dripping any further. I then decided to add some of the red body paint to the top lids. So again, I'm just using that textured sponge to stipple that on and using my fingers to kind of blend and tone it down a bit. I then went back in with that tan shade that we used earlier and just applied that over top of the red. Again, use my finger to blend and smudge it out. I kind of wish I would have done this before doing the tears because as you can see, it kind of toned them down a little bit up there around the eye, but what are you gonna do? So feel free to change that up if you want to. For the lips, I'm just using my foundation and I'm gonna pucker my lips super tight and then blend over that so that when my lips are normal, you can see all the cracks and wrinkles. Then I'm taking that red body paint on the textured sponge and just stippling that unevenly around the corners of the mouth. Then to add some dimension to that color, I'm taking a brown body paint on the same sponge and stippling it around the same areas. And then I also decided to take this up onto the cheeks where we had applied the red up there. And I'm even taking it past those areas to give it a nice gradient into the skin. Now I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and then applying my foundation to them like I did the brows and I am applying it with a spoolie at first and then once I have it applied, I'm just using my finger to smudge it out to tone down the pigment. Then really quickly added some red body paint to the back of my fingers from the bottom of the nail down toward the knuckle and then just blended it out with my finger a little bit to soften the lines and then I just threw on a wig. And then this is the finished makeup. I was running out of daylight and I forgot to get any more shots in the studio showing the lenses and everything, but I have some shots here taken by my friend Catherine of Vanilla Tree Photography. I'll have all of her links down below if you want to check her out. Then the lenses were from Samhain Contact Lenses and they were just kind of a frosty white overlay over the entire eye, so I couldn't really see much, but they looked cool and I'll have another picture of them on my Instagram. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to subscribe for more Halloween videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.